And then you just go back to the chorus. I mean, sorry, the, the, you, do, you do the whole thing all over again. And this time the slide's um, going to be on the high E string from the 20th fret to open and speed picking again. And this next part, if you really want to play it, um, is actually played on a keyboard in the real song. So uh, if you want to play it, you should make kind of a uh, muted sound. So what I do is if you have a strat, you know, or anything with a pickup adjuster, I put it in the middle. You know, it sounds kind of muted. Um, and on a clean setting, definitely. At low volume. Um, and you're going to form an E minor chord. And you don't move your fingers at all. See? And um, what you do is you hit the D string, then the A string, then D string, and then G string, D string, G string, and then B string, G string, B string, E string. That sounds like this. And you do that four times. And uh, and after that, uh, you put your first finger on the second fret of the A string. Um, sorry, my dad. He's kind of yeah. Um, anyway, uh, you play open D string, then the first, the second fret of the A string, then D string, then fourth fret of the D string, open uh, D string, fourth fret, then you bar the fourth frets of the D and G string, and you play that. And then use your middle finger on the third fret of the B string. Not sure how many times you play that. And um, then on the low E string, uh, what, well, first uh, use your first finger to bar the second frets of the G, D, G, um, and D strings, uh, and the G and the G string. And use your ring finger on the fourth fret of the low E string. And you play fourth fret, open, four, then uh, A string, uh, B, E string, and then D string, A string, D string, G string, and then you go back to the first one, and then you turn off. And then you unmute it, because this time it actually is played on real guitar. And you put your pinky on um, the fifth fret of the B string, ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and first finger on the second fret of the D string. And you play, you're going to use these three strings, the ones that I just named. You're going to use them in these descents. And you play them from the uh, B to the G and to the D. I think you do that eight times with this form. And then you switch um, with your first finger on the third fret of the B string, uh, you, your ring finger and middle finger on the uh, fourth frets of the D and G string, and you play those same three strings. And then you bar the second frets of all three of those strings. And then you do it again. And then you go back to the first one. And then uh, 
you go to distorted sounds um, with your uh, first finger on the fifth fret of the A string and your ring finger on the seventh fret of the oh. same string. And uh, this part, use fifth fret, then hammer onto the seventh fret, and then play it three times. on the fourth time, and then on the fourth time you do that again, and then the fifth fret of the D string, seventh fret of the A string, then fifth fret, and then then you do the fifth fret of the A string and uh, the seventh fret of the E string in the same pattern. And then on the fourth time, you hammer on back to the seventh fret and then play it three times and then uh, put your first, bring your first finger down to the fifth fret of the E string in the same pattern and then you seventh fret of the E string no first you do the fifth fret then seven and five and then three and then you just go three to the open and you do that a whole lot of times. I think it's like six times. On the seventh time, uh, you end like this. After that, um, you hammer on to the fifth fret of the E string, then the sixth, then the seventh. And then go back to this. And then the fifth fret of the A string, and hammering on to the seventh fret. And then do it again. For the second time of that, you hit an open E for the last note. And that's basically it.